Men, and as usual, I use the term ever so loosely. Uh, I'm rebuilding a motor, and uh, we're going to pop some new cam cover bushings in there. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. I made a new tool uh, to help me out with this. Uh, you'll see why this is going to be real handy in a little while. But anyway, uh, uh, let's just get started. Gonna level it out here. There's adjusting nuts on the back side of these studs. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get these cam bushings out of here. This particular tool is homemade. Uh, Jim's, I'm sure, makes a similar such tool. I'm also sure it's probably very expensive.
This one's pretty tight. Once you break them loose, they usually uh, come easier than this. These are the new bushings. These are the old bushings. I always measure the new ones to see how they compare size-wise to the old ones. Uh, you know, there could be tolerance on these things, and these might be three or four or five thousandths of an inch bigger than the old ones. If you try to hammer those in a hole, you're gonna break something. Uh, so I measure them. These happen to be a thousandth of an inch smaller than the old ones, so they're gonna fit a little looser. Um, but like I say, these were really pretty much on the tight side, so I think that'll be fine on these guys here. Um, I also put a little Sharpie mark where the anti-rotation uh, pins go in. And I do that not so I could try to match up with them, but so that I could avoid them on purpose. Uh, you want to drill a new hole in clean metal so you got a nice tight fit. Uh, anyway, um, these are ready to go. On this motor, the pinion, uh, the pinion, the number two, and the uh, either gear for the generator are okay, so I'm just replacing these three for the uh, one, three, and the four cam. nice okay so here's the real purpose of this fixture plate that I made you know these cam covers there's no flat area on the other side so you try to drill these pinholes and the damn thing wants to move all over on you well you put it in this fixture you level it up now you're perpendicular to the drill press this thing is secure and you could drill your holes straight on with no problem you got your drilling fixture. Uh, I made these a while back. The hole is located to put it right on the split line between the bushing and the cam cover. So now instead of a wobbling piece of shit, you've got something firm to drill into. I got a piece of tape on a drill bit to uh, set my depth. And that's that. Much easier. Right, let's make sure there's no uh, chips in the bottom of the pinholes. Let's knock the pins in.
And that's that. We're going to ream the bushings uh, in the cam cover in a minute. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, put some roller bearings in a crankcase uh, for the uh, reamer to pilot on. I use uh, old cam bearings for this. I don't use new ones uh, because uh, when you're reaming it, there might be chips that could get into the new bearing. So I use the old ones, some old ones. All right, so here's the uh, other purpose of this plate. Uh, when you're reaming the cam cover, uh, sometimes it takes considerable force, and the crankcase is difficult to hang on to. So this thing has holes drilled in it to pick up mounting holes on the crankcase. And now we're going to clamp this in a vise. Okay, we got the crankcase bolted to my fixture plate. Uh, I've taken the studs out that the cam cover uh, sits on just to get them out of the way for reaming. I got old bearings installed in there so I don't contaminate the new bearings with chips off of the uh, bushing.
And let's do the last one. Okay, down and dirty test one. The cams are all in. I keep a dummy pinion shaft laying around just for doing this. Everything turns. Uh, we're gonna put it in the crankcase, make sure it still turns. If it didn't turn here, it won't turn when it's bolted in. So uh, everything is in the ballpark at least right now. Okay, uh, the cams are all in. The thrust plates are in. Um, let's see if they turn. They turn, they're a little stiff. I, you know, I noticed that uh, this one here is a little stiff. That old bearing is apparently fucked up. So I'm not real concerned that they turn a little stiffly. Uh, like I say, old bearing is in there and it's fucked up. But they all turn. So uh, cam cover gasket is on because sometimes the thickness of a gasket is the difference between end clearance and no end clearance. So let's put the lid on it and see what happens. Put a few screws in. You don't need them all in, but you know, at least three or four probably. Snug them down. I got my dummy pinion shaft. and they turn nicely. These are good to go. Uh, one thing you might want to check is, if I could find my flashlight. One thing you might want to look at is the, uh, how much unplay you got on each cam. I'll rotate one lobe up to the top where I could get to it, put a screwdriver in there, and see if you could slide it back and forth. And you want it to slide back and forth. If it's not sliding back and forth, that means it's binding on something. That one's good. That one's good. I rotate them around until the lobe is facing up so you got something to pry on a little bit. And that one is good. We're good to go here. Uh, this is done. 
for today, I am out of here. I got actual work to do, so I'm not going to video it. Uh, tune in next time for more.